1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. And one of the great things about Indiana County is our community fairs. Right after the county fairs come the community fairs. Ox Hill is happening this week. The Cookport Fair, the Green Township Community Fair, is happening next week. And our conversation with Joe McCombe and Janine Stewart brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted Best Personal Injury Law Firm in the Best of Indiana County Contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Weren't you guys just here? It seems like it was just a day or so ago. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't take long. <laughs> it, it, another year rolls around. It really does. It just came a little faster than we were ready for. <laughs> <laughs> well, Janine, I recall opening our conversation last year by saying, Janine, how many years for the Green Township Community Fair? So I'll say it again this year. How many years is this? It's 106 this 106 year. 106 years. Yes. And Joe McCombie's been to all of them. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Not quite. <laughs> we, not quite. we wish. Yeah, so yeah. things getting underway next week. I'm sure that there's a lot of work going on in the fairgrounds right now, Joe. Yeah, I'm, I, I've been sort of under the weather, but uh, I know the other people, they pick up the slack and do all they can. Mm-hmm. And there again, it takes a group effort to do it. You, it doesn't. Uh, it's not a one-man band. And uh, so everybody pitches in. Takes a few hammers and saws and drills. Oh, yeah. uh, it takes a, a yes, lot of people does. pushing brooms too. Doesn't yes, it, indeedy. Jane? Yeah, yep. yeah. got to get it all cleaned up and ready to go for a year. And and yeah. well, you do events all year long at the Cookport Fairgrounds. Well, we have had yeah the big truck and tractor pulls this summer. Yeah, the fire company had one in June, and then we had one in July. Mm-hmm. But here comes the big event. Yeah, oh, yes. This is definitely the biggest. The big fair next week. So let's talk about the schedule. It gets underway on Sunday, right? Yes, with uh, church service in the evening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you put together that big community choir, too. That's so nice. Oh, it is. It's, it's wonderful. Johnny yeah. does a good job. Yeah, and, and then you'll get the, uh, the the message for the evening. And is there is there a queen? No. There's no queen? No. Mm-mm. Okay. So you get to be the reigning queen? No, 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 <laughs> no, no. You don't, you don't do that either? Uh, no. And it's at 7 o'clock on Sunday evening. Is when 7 o'clock. Service starts, yeah. That's yeah. when so they're getting So you come at 6 and see some of your friends that you see once a year sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And Have a reunion on Saturday or Sunday and then one big one on Saturday. Well, that's a big thing about the uh, the Cookport Fair is it's, it's such a family-oriented type of thing. Um, yes, it is. And your family can be uh, whatever, your school family, your your regular family, whatever it happens to be. But this is where a lot of reunions take place. Yes, there's one class that holds a class reunion the week of the fair. And they come on Saturday, I believe it is, and they go out and eat and whatever, and then they come to the fair. Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah. They they sort of set it up around the fair. Yeah. Uh-huh. The one, one, ones that went to the uh, Cookport School, right? The one-room schoolhouse is one of them, I think, that get together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Boy, yeah. that, uh, you know, that's getting uh, to the far distant past now. That uh, <laughs> yeah. There's probably a, a dwindling number of folks. Yeah, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Who even remember the school, let alone went to it. Yeah. They'd be close to be 80 years old, I would say, right in that neighborhood. 75, 80 years old. Yeah, but the fair's for them. It's for the young and for the old. One of the things about the fair that I think is really interesting is uh, you have a different high school band uh, every night, right? Yeah, every night. Almost every night, yeah. Yeah, I I know I was glancing at the schedule, and yeah. And they're all local area schools. Yeah. From Northern Canberra, Penns Manor, Purchase Line, Marion Center. Yeah, no, it's just really great that they, they all take part. Yeah, and and, and boy, Purchase Line, uh, they do it up big on Friday. They even give the kids the day off of school to go to the fair, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah right. and then the band plays twice on Friday. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's terrific. Well, the, the fair originally was set up for the kids, mm-hmm. so we try to keep, you know, the schools and that all involved. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is good to show the kids' talent, you yeah, know. Absolutely. All right. Now, we'll, we'll talk about what's going to be happening down on the tracks because there are two tracks. But there are two stages as well that are always yes. active at the fair, yes. aren't there? And you've got some great music coming this year. Yeah, we have the truck and tractor pools, and then we have the uh, four-wheeler uh, drag races down on the, the new track. Mm-hmm. And uh, there will be a horse pool, too. I believe it's Saturday night. Yeah, you actually have what's now termed, uh, you know, it used to be this track or that track. Now it's the pulling track. Yes. And then the racing track. Yes. So there's something happening on those pretty much every night. Yeah. Pretty much every night, yeah. Yeah, 
mm-hmm. and then and then a lot of music on the, on the stages. You've got uh, what the midway stage and the yeah. main stage, right? We have right. The, yeah, entertainment the mid- building. Yeah, no. And Canoe Ridge Bluegrass Band will be playing Tuesday night on the uh, midway stage. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I know you've got a, a group coming on on Monday on on one of those stages as well. Okay. I, I know Jim and Jim has the karaoke. Main, he's on the main stage, and then the uh, out on the midway, uh, Clay Bowser. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rock and country band. Clay's going to be up there on stage on Monday. Yeah. yeah. What are some of the other acts? I, I know there's a lot of gospel music that you do. Well, Wednesday evening on the main stage, we have the Sweet Life Gospel. And out on the mid stage is uh, John Charney. He's acoustic soloist. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, and on Thursday, uh, we're having that uh, Christopher Eckert out mm-hmm. on, uh, yeah. well, he's on the midway stage, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the main Michael stage is always Christopher busy. Band Country on the uh, main stage. Mm-hmm. But no, there's, there's something going on every day uh, from judging on, I think, what's Monday, of the animals and... Uh, yeah, all of the pulling events, all of the judging of the of the agricultural exhibits, the animals themselves, uh, that's all part of the, the whole big event. Yes. Um, of, of course, the Cook Fork Fair is also about the food. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and, uh, oh, yes. If you want to get Joe excited, you just say food. Yeah, no. Uh, and, and he's ready to roll. Everybody enjoys the uh, hot sausage at Koi's, and, and, of course, everybody likes to get down to the uh, Cook Fork Fair uh, chicken, chicken shack. shack and... Yeah. Have a chicken dinner. Oh, no, there's, you know, so many different varieties of uh, fair food that they can pick and choose from. So Yeah, you, know, you can get yourself anything from oh, an apple dumpling to a funnel oh, cake. to Right, right. And, and right. Stromboli. Yes. Mm, yeah, good go. strombolis yeah, out there, too. Strombolis yeah. and hot sausages and, yeah. and all of those wonderful things. And you're right, that chicken dinner is, is something yeah. else. No. Yes. <laughs> Now, the fairgrounds themselves, uh, down through the years, there have always been upgrades. Um, uh, the, the wonderful paved sidewalks uh, and, and, and those uh, areas that if you get a downpour, if you get a little bit of rain, uh, you don't have to get your feet all muddy. Oh, no. No, no nope. it's, it's come a long way. Boy, I tell you what, it has 30 really. years or so, Yeah, they've made many improvements. They, they like really have. One of the things about the fair, though, is the parking situation. Uh, it's kind of hard to beat that. It, it's wide open. I mean, there's it's free parking. parking. Free and, yeah. parking, yes. And you've got a shuttle that's going to take them to onto the grounds from the parking area on Fridays and Saturdays. On Friday and Saturday, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so and, uh, and up at the uh, old pulling track, they put in a new announcer stand this year. It it really looks nice. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. We we do some kind of improvements every year. Something new comes every year to yep. the Cookport Fair. But at the very base of it, it's the fact that it's a long-time community fair, and we think so so much of all of the folks down through the years, the folks that we've had here in the studio. Janine, when we began these conversations, it was, um, um, oh, I'm trying to think, Dick Keith. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, who was here yes. for all of those many, many years. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, my, yes. Uh, and, and he was so devoted to the fair. Uh, Morris Fox used to come in uh, yes. with you, Janine, uh, and uh, it, it's just People like that that you see every year yeah. uh, that uh, really make up the family of, of the Green Township Community Fair. It, yeah. It's a lot of work it done sure by some, is. some very dedicated people. Well, yes. You know, people, people step up and do what they can. That's, you know, it just really. It's what it's all about. And, and people that just come for the fair don't realize yeah. just what it takes to put it together. Yeah. yeah. Now, the rides get underway on what day? They'll start Monday evening. They'll start on Monday evening. Yeah. Okay. And then the, the the rides will be happening every day all the way through Saturday. Yeah. On Friday, there's a discount on the, the rides. I don't know what it'll be yet. Mm-hmm. That's up to the ride company. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you've got some wonderful sponsors of the Cookport Fair that uh, really uh, step forward and help you to do this, too. Oh, yes. We have a lot. Yeah. yeah. Saturday will be Marion Center Bank Day. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. The bank always steps forward. We... Yeah. appreciate that as well. Yes, we do. Well, we're just about there, aren't we? The The Cookport Fair begins on Sunday, and uh, all of the hard work uh, will culminate in a, a little bit more hard work next week. And 
Yeah. And then you get to relax for a little bit. Just, yeah. just pray for good weather. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. doing that. I'm, I'm looking yeah. at the forecast. There are some iffy days, but there's also right. some yeah. good weather days next week, too. No, okay. One way or another, we'll manage. You'll get it done. Yeah, yeah, no. You'll get it done. Fair will go on. The music and the food and uh, the the great events, uh, the competitions down on the tracks, uh, it's uh, it's just all part of the fun, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's the 106th Cookport Fair. Janine, Joe, thanks so much for the annual visit. We appreciate that. You're welcome, I'm sure. And we appreciate you inviting us in. Well, you come back anytime. Okay, thank you. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Now, Fox News comes your way next at the top of the hour. Then it's the Brian Kilmeade Show. Early noon news today because uh, Josh is going to have to vacate for the Pirates. They begin at 1210 this afternoon here on WCCS.